my name is Shivani. I am one of the new Wysant tutors and I'm here to help you with your chemistry problem. So let me just read the question first. So we have an evacuated reaction vessel filled with 0 0.800 ATM of N2 and 1.681 ATM of Br2. When equilibrium is established, there are 1.425 ATM of Br2 remaining in the vessel. And the question asks us to calculate the equilibrium partial pressure in ATM of NBr3. So they've given us this reaction of 2 NBr3 reversibly going to N2 and 3 Br2. Now, since we start off with the N2 and the Br2 and we don't have any of the NBr3 at the beginning, the reaction is actually going to proceed the other way of how this is written. So you're going to have N2 and 3Br2 going to 2NBr3, like I've shown here. So now the first thing we can do is we can make an ice table. So to make this table, um, we would have initial... change and equilibrium. So that's what the I, C, and E stand for. And we can go ahead and start drawing the table. So according to the question, we start off with 0.800 atmospheres of N2 and 1.681 atmospheres of Br2. So we could go ahead and write those quantities down. And we don't have any. NBr3, or at least we can safely assume that there's no NBr3 at the beginning. So we can assume that to be zero in this case. So unless we had any other information that tells us otherwise, we can always assume the quantity of whatever's not mentioned is zero. So now since we have N2 and 3Br2 producing 2NBr3, we can uh, determine that the change for the N2 and the 3Br2 is going to be negative and the change for the NBr3 is going to be positive. Now when equilibrium is established there are 1.425 atm of Br2 remaining in the vessel so we could go ahead and fill that portion in our ice table. So now we can start to fill out the rest of the table. So um, let's call the change to be x. So it's going to be minus x for N2. Now the change for the Br2, since it has a coefficient of 3 in the equation, it's going to be minus 3x. And since the coefficient on NBr3 is 2, the change is going to be plus 2x. And our final uh, equilibrium value can be determined using simple algebra. For the N2, it's going to be 0 0.8 100 minus x. And for the NBr3, it's going to be 2x. So now that we got this table all figured out, we can determine the value of x using algebra. So we have 1.681 minus 3x is 1.425, and we can calculate the value of x. 
So 3x would be 1.681 minus 1.425. Which would be, let's see, zero point two fifty six. So then X would be equal to zero point two fifty six divided by three, which would be point zero eight five three three three. Let's say 0 0.08533. Now that we have X, we are able to calculate the equilibrium partial pressures of NBR3 and N2 using our calculated value of X over here. So for NBR3, it would be 2x, which would be 2 times 0 which would be 1.7066. And then the equilibrium partial pressure of N2 would be 0 0.800 minus X. Or sorry. This one is supposed to be, sorry, this one is actually 0 0.17066. And for N2, it would be 0 0.8 minus 0 0.08533, which is 0 0.71467. atmospheres. So now we are able to answer our question, uh, which is, what is the equilibrium partial pressure of NBR3? And according to our answer calculated, it's 0 0.17066 atmospheres. Now, um, if we round that to the appropriate number of significant figures, um, in this case, uh, we can do three significant figures since um, that's uh, the smallest amount of significant figures in any value given in the problem. Um, you know, since the 0.800 has three significant figures and then 1.681 and 1.425 have four significant figures. So round it to three significant figures, but it would be 0 0.171 APM. So yeah, the final answer, 0 0.171 ATM. Let's just quickly double check the work. So let me just, uh, let's just go ahead and plug all this stuff into your calculator here. So first we could check by ensuring that 1.681 minus three times 0 0.08533 is equal to 1.425, which it is. Then two times 0 0.08533 would be the equilibrium value of NBR3, which would be 0 0.17066 atmospheres, which we rounded to 0 0.171 atmospheres. So yeah. 
Um, that's our final answer with the explanations. And if you have any questions about the work, um, feel free to leave me a comment at the bottom of my lesson. Thank you so much. Thank you.